here what's going on guys uh, we have a question right here it's asking uh, find the moment required for pending motion so basically what this means we have our uh, cylinder sitting on this side so if you want to turn the cylinder what is the moment that is required that is the question and in this case when we turn this object in this side the fricks friction is going to be acting on the opposite side so this is going to be FFR B and also we are going to have a friction on this side that's going to be FFR of A for some friction A for some friction A and in this case we know that uh, there's going to be weight acting on this object that's going to be MG also we know that there's, there's going to be a normal force acting on the opposite direction like in this direction that's going to be NB and also we are, we are going to have a normal force on this direction that's going to be my normal force A so these are the only forces that's going to have on this object so let's see how we can solve this problem first of all uh, let's see, uh, find this so force of friction according to the force of friction equation it's normal force times the coefficient of friction so it's going to be this is going to be normal force A times mu S and this is going to be equal to normal force B times mu S so we have two set of equations first of all uh, let's find the normal force B so normal force B is going to be equal to so we have mg so the reaction is going to be opposite side so that's going to be mg right here and this is acting upside so the reaction is downside so it's going to be minus FFR A force of friction A and this is my nb and now I, I can su substitute this one into force of friction B equation to get an equation for force of friction B so force of friction B is nb times mu s nb times mu s we know nb is mg minus f of r a so therefore this is going to be mg minus f of r a times mu s now what i can do is i can uh, simply ok let's take the horizontal for the components so sigma f of x is equal to 0 and if i take this direction positive and solve for this one i will get na in the positive direction also f of r b in the negative direction f of r b in the negative direction this is equal to 0 and these are the only two horizontal components we have therefore we can say n is equal to f of r b therefore i can say this is equal to we know f of r b is this one so we can say this is n is equal to this mg minus f of r a time mu s now we have f of r a so i can what i can do is if you look at the equation for f of r a it's n a time mu s so if i substitute this value for this one i can bring everything in terms of other variable force of friction i can find the force of friction a so let's see how we can do this so if i bring the force of friction a equation force of friction a is equal to n a time mu s mu s and we found the n a is equal to mg minus f of r a time mu s so i substitute this one right here so this is going to be mg mg minus f of r a times mu s time another mu s this is n a and time another mu s so this is going to be equal to uh, mg 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 time mu s square because mu s time mu s, mu s square and multiply it with this term minus f of r a mu s square now purpose is to find f of r a so if you want to find i can bring to the other side so it's going to be f of r a plus f of r a mu s square which is going to be equal to mg mu s square now if i take the f of r a common which is going to be equal to 1 plus mu s square over mg mu s square now if you take the f of r a f of r a is going to be equal to mg mu s square over 1 plus mu s square so we found the f of r a in terms of other variables so this is one of my equations now let's see what we can do for the FFRB so FFRB is uh, in this equation so now we have found FFRA in terms of other variables so I can substitute this one to find FFRB 
So let's see how we can do this. So if I take the f of our b equation, this is going to be mg minus f of r a. We found this equation. I can substitute this one for this one. So this is going to be mg mu s square over 1 plus mu s square times mu s and uh, that's we have then uh, if I form I can take this common denominator as this one so that's going to be mg times 1 plus mu s square minus mg mu s square over 1 plus mu s square and times mu s and if you look at the equation right here so if I multiply this one this is going to be mg, this is going to be plus mg mu square, but minus mg square, mg mu square. So we can cancel this both because this is plus mg mu square and this is minus mg mu square. So we can cancel both of them to make it simpler. So now if I cancel each other, I will end up with mg multiplying this one uh, outside inside. So it's going to be mg mu s over 1 plus mu s square. So this is my final FFRB and we have got, got the equation for FFRA and FFRB in terms of other variables. So let's see, let's continue right here. Our purpose is to find the moment that's going to turn this object. So to find this, I had to take a moment around C. So if I take this moment around C, I continue separately. So moment around C. It's going to be zero and if I take the counterclockwise positive counterclockwise positive and solve for this one so we're going to have uh, moment C, this is acting counterclockwise so it's going to be positive MC and this is along the axis NA doesn't create any moment moment because it's along the axis also NG doesn't create any moment NB also doesn't create any moment it's along the axis but uh, we are going to have moment by f of r a and f of r b so let's uh, uh, both of them are pushing this object clockwise so both of them are going to be negative so first of all f of r a f of r a is negative f of r a f of r a and the distance is going to be the radius of this one so let's say this is uh, this radius is r if the radius is r this is going to be multiplied by r and also we are going to have f of r b pushing this object in the clockwise di direction so that's also minus f of r b times radius both of them are along the radius equal to zero and if i solve for mc that comes out to be f of r a times r f of r, f of r a times r minus f of r now this is going to be plus so plus f of r b b times r now i take the r common so f of r a is what here we have this one mg mg mu s square over 1 plus mu s square and f of r b is we found here is mg mg mu s over 1 plus mu s square and r common r and the final answer is going to be therefore uh, we can take the so let's okay mu mg mu s square mg mu s so we can take mg mu s common so if i take the mg mu s mg mu s r common so if i take the mg mu s r common what I'm going to have is, I'm going to have mu s inside because this is mu s square. So this is going to be mu s inside and plus 1 over 1 plus mu s square. So this is my final answer. Therefore, moment around C is going to be equal to mg, mg mu s r times mu s plus 1 over 1 plus mu s square so this is my final answer and that's how it's done i hope you guys like this video
see you next time